Yo, what's up, what's up? This is my full review of the new Samsung A55. The best mid-range phone for 2024. I've been using the Samsung A55 for almost a month now. To be honest, I was hesitant to get this phone and use it as my main device. But the Samsung A55 proved me wrong. So for today's video, I'll share with you the 4 things I love about this new Samsung A55. So, let's go! First is the design. It has Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection on the front, Gorilla Glass on the back, and an aluminum frame. It features a 6.6-inch, 120Hz screen with 1000 nits of brightness and 3 cameras at the back. At first glance, it looks like a Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Just put a case on it and no one will ever know this is a mid-range phone. And I really love the feel of this phone. Second is the camera. For its price, the cameras in the Samsung A55 are excellent. You have a 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera with autofocus and OIS, a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera, and 5 megapixel f2.4 macro camera. And on the front, you have a 32 megapixel f2.2 camera. All the cameras can shoot 4K video up to 30 FPS, which is impressive for this price range. I love using the main camera for capturing video. It has great colors to my taste. The overall image quality is excellent with great dynamic range. The OIS is very usable, allowing you to take cinematic type videos using this phone. So if you're wondering if you can vlog with this phone, so the answer is yes. So this is the video and audio sample of the front facing camera of the Samsung A55. The photo capability is great. You can take excellent photos using the main sensor. Again, I love the colors coming from this camera. It includes most of the camera options for their high-end smartphones like Pro Video Mode, Pro Mode for photos, a super steady option which is limited to full HD resolution, and a 50 megapixel resolution for photos. Third is the battery. The Samsung A55 has a 5000 mAh battery. From my experience, I can get 6 to 7 hours of screen on time with around 1 hour of mobile gaming and I still have 20 to 30% battery left. These are very good number for me. However, the downside is the charging speed. Using my 30 watt charger, which I use for all of my devices, it takes around 1 hour and 40 minutes to fully charge, which is too slow. And fourth, it's what you get from this phone. One of my favorite Android skins is One UI. My Samsung A55 is on One UI version 6.1 as of recording this video. You will get 4 years of Android OS updates and 5 years of security updates which is a first for a mid-range phone. My overall experience with the software has been great. It's not buggy and super snappy. The Exynos 1480 is great for me. I can do everything I want with this phone. Yes, it's not as powerful as Snapdragon counterparts but I have an experience any major issues during my month of usage. Plus, it has a dedicated micro SD slot, so you can extend your storage up to 1 terabyte. The Samsung A55 feels like a 2021 Android flagship. I think the Samsung A55 is one of the best smartphones for 2024, or should I say the best mid-range phone for 2024. The design is so premium, it feels like a flagship phone. The software support you get is unmatched by other mid-range phones. It has a battery that can last a whole day and very capable cameras. Yes, this is a top mid-range category, but you get what you pay for. So there you have it, my full review of the Samsung A55, a mid-range phone that can do it all.
and I highly recommend this phone. You will never regret picking the Samsung A55 and you will love it as I did. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. From a man, Mr. Sal, thanks for watching.